Today, Kevin and I are gonna be having lunch at La Rosa's Family Pizzeria. Uh, we have never been here before. They've only been in Lexington for a couple of weeks. So we're gonna uh, take you inside and order some lunch and see what it's like. So this is the menu at La Rosa's. And I'm just going to take you through. We just finished looking through it and figuring out what we wanted. So what you can do is I always show you the menu. But then if you want to pause it, you can pause it. And it's really cool because it gives you the calories of everything. So some of you may not want to know the calories. And you're going to know them anyway because it's giving them to you. So we're actually going to get a starter. We're going to get some of these garlic breadsticks with provolone. And we're going to get some pizza the sauce. Kevin might want cheese, I don't know. But they also have wings. They have um, salads. And they have soups. Entree salads. Uh, what are the garlic bread with provolone? And then these are um, combos. And then we want to get the 12 inch uh, buddy dog. And then here's the classic special thing. Yeah, I want that. Akasha. Can I keep this for another minute? Thank you. And so we ordered the Buddy Deluxe. So that's what you'll see coming. And here's the picture. And everything, everything looks really, really good. You choose your crust, choose your sauce. I got the hand toss. You got the hand toss, so it's medium. Yeah, it's in the middle. And then choose your size. And then choose up to six toppings if you create if you create your own. So you can you can create your own. And then they have calzones, which who knows if it, you know if we come back we could get a calzone if we come back at some point. They have hoagies. Yeah, you can get the lunch special. Yeah, they also have a lunch special, and we are here at lunch, so I'll show you that in just a minute. They have pastas, ziti sauce. That sounds good. I didn't even see that. And desserts. Okay, so they have cinnamon dippers, smashed cannoli. Three big chocolate chunk cookies. I didn't even look at this when we were looking because because I knew that I wasn't gonna. I knew I was gonna get um, something to eat. Eat. Um, so then here's the lunch, and it's until um, it's from Monday through Friday until 2 p.m. Dining room only. So you have to be you have to eat here. But um, this is the lunch special. And then they have soft drinks which Kevin and I just got uh, water. They also have beer. They have lots of uh, drinks. They have like mixed drinks. I think they tell Kevin when we walked in they have like a pixie stick martini. Um, but so the dining room, we're just sitting in the, the dining room. This is how it looks. And we are at a, a booth and they give you all these uh, seasonings to put on your uh, pizza once you get it. Okay, so here are the breadsticks with cheese and the pizza sauce, and they are covered with cheese. How many did we get? We got five of them, so, and they're good size, too. So, here's the pizza. What size did we order, Kevin? We're right back. Thank you. Like a 12-inch, and so there's, what, eight pieces or there's six pieces or something? Eight pieces. So, that'll be plenty enough for us, that and the breadsticks. Okay, our title was $24.15. We got the 12 inch pizza and we got the breadsticks. We had water to drink, so that was free. So we will definitely be leaving a tip, but for the initial amount, just for the total, it was $24.15. Well, we wanted to give you our opinion of La Rosa's because that was the first time that Kevin and I had been there before, um, and we are we got the green light. I didn't think we would get a green light. Well, if these people move, um, you're, you're the line leader. You've got to go. Line don't, leaders, watch the line. Don't you hate that when you're then when the line leader isn't watching and you're like go go because the light's green and it doesn't stay green for that long. Okay, so La Rosa's. You want to um, start with the bad? 
Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll tell you the, well, first of all, when you walk in, they're very, very friendly. Oh, yeah, super um, clean, the, the, Yes, Kevin liked it that it was clean and bright, and um, the manager was very friendly. He came over several times and asked us how our meal was. Um, the Our server was very, very uh, attentive and nice. Um, so, so great personalities, great people working there. Um, everybody was very friendly. The, the one bad thing is we would not order those breadsticks again. And it was my idea to get the, the cheese sticks because normally I really like cheese sticks. Well, you thought it was gonna be like any other pizza place in the world. <laughs> I did, I did. It's basically gonna be a little mini pizza with cheese on it. Yeah, and with it no sauce. and it wasn't. No. They they were not. They there was no crispiness to them at all. There was it was doughy. It was um, it was like they didn't bake them long enough, and there was a ton of cheese on them. So I mean, it was well, it was like going and buying a bag of what you consider to be uh, breadsticks at like Walmart in a bag, putting them in the microwave, putting some butter on them, and then putting some sliced cheese on it and melting it. That's, yes, that's literally what it was. They, I agree. They were like microwave and because it wasn't they weren't crispy like they had been in an oven and if they did put them in an oven then they just didn't give them enough time so that would be that was the only negative thing. yeah I just would not order the breadsticks again but the pizza came and the pizza was I thought it was very very good pizza very good. Um, the um, and the sausage had a spice to it, and then we got banana peppers, so they gave it a spice. The uh, and that little pickly kind of flavor. Yeah, it w it was very very good. The what did you say we got hand tossed? We got the though? hand tossed one, which was I thought it was a perfect amount of crispness to bread. That was a good decision to get the hand toss. Do you want to stop at CBS? Yeah, sure. Um, sorry. Um. If I didn't tell him now, we would pass it. <laughs> um, the the yeah, I think if if I had been ordering, I would have ordered the thin crust. So I'm glad that Kevin is the one that ordered because I was showing the menu while he was ordering, and I'm glad that it happened like that because him getting the hand tossed was actually it was a really good amount of crust and the crust was good yeah the it crust was, was really really good i like the crust yes it was good crust and and you know um sometimes when people eat pizza they'll leave the the very edge of the the crust i ate the whole piece well they really did put toppings right up to the edge they did too, and it was so. thick that's another thing mm -hmm. um there was there you uh there was a good amount of topping so when yeah. you picked it up yeah you pretty were, much didn't get a bite without some in it. yeah there were layers and yeah. i was a mess i'm glad Kevin did not film. It was, but it was very good. That, the pizza was actually. Yeah, I got, I had sauce all over the place and stuff was falling out and cheese and, but it was very good. I would recommend it. Um, just don't get the breadsticks. Yeah, just don't get the breadsticks. Well, what we're wondering is, is they have calzones. Kevin was wondering, is the calzone going to be like that? Is it going to be doughy like yeah, that breadstick? Or bready. Bready, because if they don't bake it um, long enough, then it would be. I don't know, but if you're going to get a pizza, that it would be a good place. And that was a good size too for me and you, because even yes. if, I, if I hadn't got breadsticks, uh, we, we're taking two pieces home. Right. If I hadn't got breadsticks, I would have just eaten We would have just pieces. eaten the pieces and, and, and just eaten the... Fine. Yeah, so you could just get away with just getting that the 12 inch pizza and not getting anything else with it, and it'll feed two people perfect. Yeah. So, um, and I'm very, uh, very full. So, it, it was a good meal. So, if you're in the Lexington, Kentucky area, I would give it a try.